Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading, your weekly check-in, just seeing what, asking the universe what is it that you need to know now. We do have a new moon in Scorpio coming up this week, so that is a time where you can be planting some seeds, which is going to be interesting, very intense and transformative new moon and setting off uh, as the cycle of eclipses which is going to be interesting so this reading is for capricorn capricorn sorry sun moon and rising and is a general reading capricorn just take what feels right and leave the rest so let's see what do you need to know and please like subscribe share leave a comment if you appreciate this content and would like to support the growth of the channel the nine of wands you're at the tail end of something might be feeling a bit exhausted oh the empress is coming in nice and the four of wands you're building some good strong foundations here and the magician has come out so positive positive all stations go Keep moving ahead with what you're doing. The Empress is coming out really strongly saying uh, there's something bigger on offer here. She's ruled by Venus. So she's Venus coming in so strong. It could be that you are wanting to do uh, make changes around the home that are going to beautification of the home or the self of yourself. Uh, but she, this could be some of you wanting to buy a new home or just doing something like renovations around the home. But ultimately, the Empress is about love and she brings in finance and abundance. So it is this lovely energy with the Four of Wands saying what you're doing now, even though it's taking some energy from you with that Nine of Wands, it's working and it's going to be something big and good for you. So this is actually a really, really positive energy coming in. The Four of Wands is happy home, happy heart. We can see the 1111. There is this mastery that's coming in here. So yeah, and you know, for any of you that are perhaps going through some sort of relationship issues or struggles, uh, that could be in this as well. You're trying to kind of get back on track. I can see that this is uh, this is a good energy for this this week. And the magician card shows that there is a solution. It's working out the how. There could be uh, an expert, someone who has expertise that comes in and could be helping you work things out. Ultimately, it brings in a lot of confidence, the magician card. So I feel like you, if you're working on some kind of plan or trying to at least formulate a plan or a strategy of some sort with this magician energy, and it ha can be a lot to do with it's saying you've got a lot of resources around to draw from. You've got everything that you need. And uh, with the Empress coming in as well, you know, she's bringing this sense of uh, this is going to really, you know, going to work, going to bring that sense of abundance. So I feel like this is a good plan uh, to be bringing this in. The Empress is also number three. So it can be with the magician. This is a very, very strong week for you guys to manifest. So if you're wanting a home or a happy relationship like this Four of Wands, this is actually a very positive time to be doing that. So, yeah, look, check out your energy levels with that Nine of Wands. That can be feeling a bit tired. It's the wounded warrior. And it's, it's yeah, I feel like you're going to start getting some good results and feeling like all the pain and the struggle is going to be worth it so and if this is something new, new that you're starting then I feel like uh, this is actually something that's going to bring in some really really good results I honor how I want to feel beautiful so that's coming in for you and you know the empress is all about you know bringing in more but it can be to do with sensuality your feelings it can be someone big that you love it can be to do with mothering as well like nurturing as well but let's just see let's pull a message from the ascended masters for you capricorn and so this is kind of where i think that this positive manifestation is coming in because it starts with an emotion, thinking about how you want to feel in a given when we're formulating this plan and keep repeating that, keep feeling that, keep uh, seeing that image. This is where vision boarding could be. It could be a really positive week to do some kind of vision boarding if that's what you're into. Uh, we've got persistence. So, yeah, you're getting very, very strong messages. Keep going. I'll show you this guy. And definitely you can see that third eye there, a light there um, from Lou. So it is, you know, 
I understand with that nine of wands, you've been putting in a lot of hard work with something, but yeah, it's the universe just going, keep going, keep going. It's working. It's going to work. There's going to be some really positive rewards at the end. So let's see what animal oracle energy you guys are working with at this moment in time. It's quite a few there. I think there's too much, but we did see cheetah, which is uh, <laughs> moving very fast. It's very quick energy, having a goal and going this is where, but it didn't quite come out. Those ones did. <laughs> I've dropped them, so I've got to pick them up for you here. We have snake. Now, snakes always represent the end of a cycle, the fact that, um, you know, we can see interesting, like the snakes also can represent mothers, but it's like one cycle. It's never-ending cycle. One begins, another ends. And um, But what they're saying is you are nearing the end of something now. And what the snake always represents to me, and it is the element of earth, it is your element, Capricorn, is that you are about to receive all these gifts and jewels uh, from that cycle. And, yeah, it could be a cycle of struggle with that nine of wands, but it's all coming. And, wow, look at this <laughs> cosmic egg and the frog energy. And, wow, that's amazing. So, oh, my gosh, some big, big rewards coming to you, uh, Capricorn absolutely we can see with the frog this is about could have been about survival a matter matter of surviving the frog needs the rain to survive and this week it's not just drizzling there's it's pouring everything this lovely energy of what you need is coming and it's involved with this cosmic egg that's about to birth here and you can see the snake again um, very clearly is protecting and nurturing and looking after this cosmic egg so it really is going to bring something that nurtures and heals you but brings you what you need so there is it's kind of saying that whatever it is that you're working on is about to birth. It's a highly fertile time with the Empress. It's about to come to the end of a cycle where, you know, there's been this gestation period, but uh, when you kind of, this thing does actually birth, it's like, oh my goodness. Okay. So it's like, wow. Uh, like I said, the frog's been through a bit of a drought with that nine of wands. And then suddenly it's, yeah, it's not just raining, it's pouring. So, oh, I just dropped that card. Sorry, Capricorn. Sorry, Capricorn, I just dropped the card. It says, I now create a wonderful new job. Okay, so definitely could be a message for some of you about career. I am totally open and receptive to a wonderful new position using my creative talents and abilities, working for and with people I love in a wonderful location and earning good money. Wow. Okay, so that is a really positive message coming through for some of you for this week. And... Like I said, the Empress does rule finance as well, that Venetian Venetian energy coming through. We have as the charm the little pussycat, beautiful. And cats represent independence for me. And I kind of get, uh, I don't know, this is just kind of a random thing. It might be for some of you a detail of design. And I'm getting particularly like 60s kind of like a retro kind of energy uh, and so there's something about just having a keen eye for making something how you want it to be, the style that you want. You might might not, doesn't have to be the 60s, but it's kind of like, this is what I like. Now, cats are very interesting because, you know, they do have nine lives. You've got the nine of wands is kind of saying, yes, you've been through a lot and you've survived a lot and you are a survivor like this cat, but now's the time to the cat gets the cream in the end. And it is very much, uh, I think, you know, it's, it does say that cats, I'm kind of getting cats do what they want. And it's a sense of um, being responsible for yourself. They're showing me a cat <laughs> uh, preening itself, like looking after itself and it uh, uh, can be to do with appearance. It might be that you might be wanting to have some changes in appearance or get a haircut or go to the petition or however that presents, buy some a new accessories or new clothes or something. It just has this sense of uh, making yourself look and feel good. That's kind of the energy I'm getting with this cat. So 
Yeah, I think that's an important thing. And, uh, you know, if you have been feeling like that nine of wands, that you're kind of at the tail end of something and, you know, there's doesn't have to, there can be lots of cycles in your life. Um, this is where, yeah, I think, I think really giving back to yourself is really important and that's kind of what I'm showing. But yeah, the cats are also independent and we could be talking about financial independence further down the track here with this Empress energy and this, um, financial new energy that's coming in for some of you. So that's it. I just feel in general, it's saying, keep going. It's working. You're really at the tail end of something. You're about to get all the good stuff. And so, yeah, if you need to call in any experts, go for it. But yeah, the universe is really supporting you at the moment, Capricorn. Thanks so much for joining Capricorn and uh, look forward to seeing you next time.